ಸ್ಮತಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತೌ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ್ವಾಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವತೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿಷಾವೈ ಈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವಂ ಅಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ತಿ ಮೇ ಲೋಕಾ ಸಪ್ತೀಪಾಚ ಮೇ ದಿ the second second chapter so we were looking at the bhashya under 2.10 where bhagwan bhashyakar is analyzing as to what is the commitment of geeta shastra so we saw earlier that uh, in the earlier part huh, when uh, arjuna said that i won't uh, I, i won't fight and then that that entire section is explained as uh, as uh, showing shoka and moha of arjuna and it is not applicable only to arjuna it is the vastu sthiti for everyone that is how things are for all human beings not only for human beings even animals have shoka moha the, it's there but moksha is possible only in human body through jnana because jnana uh, is possible when the when has one has free will and control over buddhi over antakarana thereby shoka moha is shown for arjuna and arjunam nimitti krutya making arjuna as a nimitta as in by means of arjuna by teaching arjuna bhagwan wants to teach the populace so that was shown here and what was shown the shoka moha are the reason for viveka vijnana to be subdued and due to that what happens one gets carried away and gives up one's own dharma and takes up somebody else's dharma which is papa and thereby uh, shoka moha has, has to be uh, overcome that has been shown here further now he says atra kechid ahuhu atra kechid ahuhu sam se in this manner some have said in this manner or some say in this manner even today so here there is an opponent opponent's view which is analyzed as to what is the commitment of gita shastra here the uh, the view of uh, who is bodhayana or vrittikara who is called as vrittikara who is also vedantin supposed to be vedantin but a very different kind of vedantin as in uh, they say today uh, ramanujacharya paksha is uh, slightly similar to his paksha uh, in terms of conclusion but uh, what vrittikara's view is although vedantin he says jnanena moksha as in moksha is possible through knowledge but not through mere knowledge what he says is that karma and jnana should go together you cannot give up karma so he is a samuchchayavadi what is called samuchchayavada means vada of samuchchay samuchchay is combination combination of what combination of karma and jnana we say combination of karma and jnana is possible but not together not that kind of uh, samuchchaya so samuchchaya are also of two types one is sah samuchchaya other is krama samuchchaya advaitins agree with krama samuchchaya they say it is necessary you have to do karma even gita says that karma yoga is necessary after karma yoga when it facilitates chitta shuddhi when chitta is shuddha enough then jnana yoga so there is a krama samuchchaya means sequentially first you go through karma then through jnana not together karma and jnana that is not possible it will be shown further in the entire gita and in this very commentary it will be shown how it is opposing elsewhere bhashyakara bhagwan bhashyakara says that it is i have also mentioned this earlier as well uh, that uh, and if it is not mentioned in this class then uh, it is the first time perhaps that riding two horses facing opposite as in going in opposite directions how is that possible it is not possible 
similar is karma and jnana karma and jnana are not possible together at the same time because it is akin to riding horses two horses which are going in opposite directions that is a disaster there anyway so atra keci dahuhu so this is the paksha of sahasamuchya sarva karma sanyasa purvakad atma jnana nishtha matra deva kevalat kaivalyam na prapyate eva what is the paksha they say kaivalyam na prapyate by this this what you are saying he knows what advaitin is saying he says कर, सर्व कर्म संन्यास पूर्व का आत्म ज्ञान निष्ठा मात्रा सो आत्म ज्ञान निष्ठा मात्रा एव केवला केवला मीन्स ओनली बाय वॉट मात्र अगेन केवला दैट मात्रा दी सेंग दैट मात्रा एंड केवला रियली मीन सेम थिंग बट ही सेंग बाय मियर ओनली बाय मियर फॉलो मियरली फॉलोइंग कमिटमेंट टू और एसरटेनमेंट ऑफ निष्ठा एबाइडेंस इन ज्ञान advaita jnana be whatever jnana you are saying he does not have an issue there but if you say atma jnana nishtha is moksha then atma jnana nishtha is not moksha and if you say sarva karma sanyasa purvaka atma jnana nishtha matra dev kevalat that such a atma jnana such atma jnana which is preceded by sarva karma sanyasa through that only through that there is possibility of moksha and in fact we say that not any other way in fact a correction earlier so there was a word anyataha so i forgot that there was a uh, somewhere there was an anyataha sudarmasukan samsara bodha itya samsara shokatayo sarva karma yeah see sarva karma sanyas sa purva ka atma jnanat na anyataha so sarva karma sanyas sa purva ka atma jnanat is our paksha advait inspaksha na anyatah i said anyatha i had read anyatah anyatas it is actually anya plus tasil pratya uh, maybe tritiya arthi tasil tasi pratya uh, which makes an avyaya and it is in the same meaning of anyatha so tasil has been used there so i got a little uh, confused there rather anyatah means anyatha only meaning is same the way i explained that other than सर्व कर्म संन्यास पूर्व का आत्म ज्ञान अदर देन आत्म ज्ञान विच इज प्रिड बाय सर्व कर्म संन्यास निवृत्ति इज नॉट पॉसिबल शोक मोह निवृत्ति इज नॉट पॉसिबल एंड दि ऑपोनंट इज सेंग मोक्षा इज नॉट पॉसिबल मोक्षा विच यू आर सेंग दैट संसार निवृत्ति और शोक मोह निवृत्ति विच इज मोक्षा दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल बाय मियर ज्ञान प्रिसीडेड बाय सर्व कर्म संन्यास किम तरी and kaivalyam is moksha kaivalyam is kevalasya bhavah kaivalyam meaning uh, just brahmatma that being what you your own swarupa is which is moksha he does not disagree with that so that's why the vedanta he says that kaivalyam is moksha he agrees with that but he says what are the means what is the means not what you say thus just jnana is not the means karma and jnana together done together are the means kim tarhi then what is it so he answers agnihotra di shrota smart karma sahita jnanat kaivalya prapti hi iti sarvasu gita su nischita artha iti and he says if you study gita properly it has been asserted in gita itself so he is making a conclusive statement what is the commitment of uh, gita and gita is the rasa of the entire upanishads so the, the shruti and smriti gita are saying the same thing and what is what are they saying he says agni hotra di shrauta shrauta karma so shrauta karma and smarta karma what is shrauta karma shruti based karma is called as shrauta karma smriti based karma is called as smarta karma what are these agni hotra di so there agni hotra is a shruti based karma adi pade na smarta karma some kind of particular kind of homas or some kind of pujas those are in smriti सो देवता पूजा इत्यादि सो अग्निहोत्रादि श्रौत स्मार्त कर्म सहिता अलॉंग विद दोस व्हाट काइंड ऑफ ज्ञान ज्ञान व्हिच इज सहिता ज्ञान व्हिच इज सहित ज्ञान व्हिच इज अलॉंग विद अलॉंग विद व्हाट अलॉंग विद श्रौत एंड स्मार्त कर्म व्हाट काइंड ऑफ कर्म अग्निहोत्रादि अग्निहोत्र आदि एषां ते अग्निहोत्र एटसेट्रा एंड ज्ञानात कैवल्य प्राप्ति दिस कैवल्य प्राप्ति मोक्ष प्राप्ति इज थ्रू ज्ञान आर ऑलराइट बट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ ज्ञान 
Atmajnana also all right, but that kind of Atmajnana which is along with karma, you cannot give up karma, that is his objection. And he says this has been ascertained in Gita. Sarvasu Gita su, not and all Gita verses when you study 700 Gitas, you will understand that what is the ascertained meaning there, Nishchita Artha is ascertained meaning, conclusive uh, meaning, analysis. What is that? It has to be Saha Samuchya, that is his argument. And he says, if you ask me what, how do I say so, I will quote some, he says I will quote some uh, Gita Shloka, Nyapa Kancha Ahu Asya Arthasya and they so, Kechid Ahu, Kechid, he is saying, those who say this, Nyapaka Mcha Ahu, they also talk about Nyapaka, Nyapaka means revealer, Nul Pratya, Nya plus Nul Pratya, Nyapaka, they talk about a revealer, that which reveals, so Nyapi, uh, it is a causative kind of a meaning, there so that which reveals to you, Shlokas which reveal this meaning, revealers of, uh, revealer of this idea is seen in uh, arthasya Nyapakam of the Artha is idea, uh, Arthasya this idea, which idea that he is saying which is a concluded or ascertained meaning and he quotes some shlokas, Atha Chetvam Yivam Dharmyam Sangramam Na Karishyasi, so this is in the second chapter 33 shloka where Bhagavan is telling Arjuna, then Atha Chet, if, if at all, Tvam Imam Dharmyam if you do not follow this Sangrama, Sangrama this battle which is Dharmyam, Dharmyam is Taddita, Dharmat Anapetam, that which is not fallen from Dharma, means it is in keeping with Dharma. What is in keeping with Dharma for a Kshatriya, Arjuna? For you this battle, Sangrama is in, Sangrama is in keeping with your Dharma and you are giving that up. Then what will happen? Atha Chet, if at all, Tvam Imam Dharmyam Sangramam Na Karishyasi, if you were not to, if you will not fight this battle, then what will happen, etc, etc. He says that then it is wrong. He is going to say, further he is making up the case, karma nyeva adhikaraste te tava, for you, karmani in karma eva, only eva, eva kara is there, karmani eva adhikara, te adhikara karmani eva bhavati, only in karma do you have adhikara, means what? Jnane adhikara nasti there he is saying, actually, if you look at it. But uh, what is Vrittikara doing, is doing? Vrittikara is saying that karmani eva adhikara means karma cannot be given, cannot be given up by you. So jnane adhikara asti, but karmani api asti. So he is, he is not taking that eva. In fact, I had, uh, uh, I had objected to this. When I was studying this, I had objected to this that how can Vrittikara quote this Karmani Eva Adhikara because that is showing uh, Krama Samuchya, not Sa Samuchya. So he is analyzing only part of it. Therefore, he has mistaken that also. Karmani Eva is there. So Vrittikara cannot quote this really because this is showing our Paksha instead that when you have Adhikara in Karma, then you don't have Adhikara in Jnana. That is what is being said here by uh, Bhagavan to Arjuna. But still he taught Gita, still he has taught Gita and then he says now you have Adhikara in Karma, you know what is, what has to be done, you do that and then uh, whatever has to be done in Karma, you can do later or whatever has to be given up, you can do that later. But Vrittikara is saying that Karma is there, that's all he wants. Karmani Adhikara Aste, Adhikara Te, Te Adhikara Asti, so it is there. Adhikara is there in karma, meaning what he is saying, karma cannot be given up. That's all I want, his, his focus is. Kuru karma eva tasmatvam. And then further Bhagavan has said in another chapter, in fourth chapter he says, Kuru karma, Kuru as in as an order rather, that you, you do this karma. What karma? Whatever has come to you as a Kshatriya, you, Yuddha you have to do. Tasmatvam. And he, Tasmat means what? So many verses have gone prior to that justifying. Therefore, he says, reasoning has been given by Bhagavan. Tasmatvam karma eva kuru. Therefore, you do this karma which is sangrama. Ityadi, and he says, not only those, there are many others. Now, he raises a Purva Paksha. Vrittikara, a Purva Paksha himself is raising a Purva Paksha and answering. Now, if the objection is that karma, this kind of karma which is krura karma, uh, the Sangrama battle is a Krura Karma Yuddha. 
therefore it should not be done because it is uh, because ahimsa paramo dharma and you are talking about uh, yuddha which is ahimsa rupa then that's the reason that uh, that kind of karma should not be done or even vaidika karma where you know bali ityadi is given therefore it is ahimsa there is no ahimsa there there is himsa there therefore you should not do vaidika karma or this even kshatriya karma if that is the objection he himself raises that and he answers that that it is not so so he is saying further himsa di yuktatva because of being involved uh, because of himsa being involved because of involvement of himsa or because of engagement in himsa rupa karma vaidikam karma adharmaya therefore vaidika karma where bali is given generally uh, earlier lot of uh, karmas where they were elaborate karmas across many days bali was offered now he is saying himsa di yuktatvat vaidikam karma adharmaya that is adharma because ahimsa paramo dharma and vaidika karma is talking about himsa there pashu bali ityadi whether ashwamedha yajna or whatever adharmaya iti iyam api ashanka na karya that kind of doubt should not be raised why because it is a vaidika karma which you have to do it is prescribed by the shruti therefore you have to do and compared to it is not that ahimsa of pashu will not give papa it will give papa unless prescribed by shastra so the uh, traditional view point is that if the shastra prescribes it then shastra knows having said ahimsa paramo dharma if it is saying that pashu bali has to be offered then it may appear to be himsa because our perspective is small there uh, what gati is there for the jiva who which is trapped inside the the body of the animal that perspective is there for the shruti so shruti is taking uh, a win win situation where you have to if you offer that bali then that jiva which is trapped in the animal body gets mukti swarga prapti and further gati into a better body so it is for the moment it is himsa yes but then you are releasing the jiva whose prarabdha is over then and since you have made that offering with kamya karma these are most uh, all of these are kamya karma these are bali is not offered in a nitya uh, nimittika uh, karma it is supposed to be a kamya karma a person who wants swarga or something else tantrika vidhi whatever but if a person gives bali he wants swarga then he will get swarga but that through that bali the jiva is getting a better gati therefore it is supposed to be a punya karma although at that moment it is definitely a himsa rupa karma but still in the in the long run that uh, jiva which is trapped in the animal body due to the earlier papa and is suffering that jiva gets liberated not in any other way if a person kills kills another pashu so people may argue that uh, non vegetarians they kill or they partake but then someone else kills that is also punya karma because the uh, jiva is trapped no that jiva's prarabdha is not over there it it is himsa there and that will give papa because it is not a prescribed uh, duty there anyway so that's a detour there but i just wanted to uh, conclude that topic there so kuru karma eva tasmatvam and then himsa adyuktatva dvaidikam karma adharmaya it will lead to adharma adharmaya tadarte chaturthi it is for adharma only so that kind of karma is for adharma only therefore we should not do karma if that is the idea iti iyam api ashanka na kare should not be done katham how so kshatram karma yuddha lakshanam गुरु भ्रातृ पुत्रादि हिंसा लक्षण अत्यंत क्रूरमी स्वधर्म कृत्वा न अधर्माय वाई सो बिकॉज क्षात्र धर्म क्षात्र धर्म क्षत्रिय धर्म क्षत्रिय धर्म इज वॉट कर्म कर्म धर्म है सेम मीनिंग इन वैदिक कॉन्टेक्स्ट युद्ध लक्षण कर्म दैट लक्षण दैट कर्म विच इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय युद्ध सो युद्ध लक्षण कर्म विच इज अ क्षत्रिय धर्म क्षात्र दैट कर्म इज वॉट atyantam kruram it is extremely krura it is extremely cruel but and what is it guru guru 
in this case, in this particular case, Guru is there on the other side, brothers are there, Putra is there, Putradi, Putra Pautra. So Guru Bhatru Putradi Himsa Lakshanam. You, Arjuna will have to kill them in this battle. And that battle, that kind of karma, which is Sangrama Yuddha, which is characterized by Himsa towards Guru Bhatru Putradi, Atyantam Kruram Api, even if it is Atyantam Kruram, not that it is not cruel, it is cruel. Killing someone is cruel, but still Swadharma iti krutva na dharmaya. Therefore, it is a swad, being Swadharma, his dharma is to fight that battle on whichever side he is. But still, being Kshatriya dharma, his own dharma, therefore na dharmaya. It is not adharma, it is dharma. Tadakaranecha, but if he does not do that, Tadakaranecha, Tadakarane means if, if that karma is not done, which is prescribed by Shastra for that particular Varnashrama, then what will happen? Tadakaranecha, Tataswadharmam Kirtim Cha Hitva, Papam Avapsyasi, says Bhagavan. Bhagavan says that Papam Avapsyasi, you will get Papa. Due to what reason? Uh, Tataha Swadharmam Kirtim Cha Hitva. Hitva having given up. Having given up what? Swadharma and Kirti or fame. If you fight the battle, Kshatriya has done his job, therefore people will praise you. So there will be fame. You are giving up that fame. And Swadharma you are giving up. Giving up Kshatriya Dharma which is Swadharma and giving up that fame, what will you get? You will get Papa Mavapsis. You will attain Papa. Therefore, what Bhagavan himself knows that it is a Krura Dharma, it is a Krura Karma. Still it is Dharma, it is not Adharma, therefore it is justified that Karma has to be done. And what is Vrittikara's view? He says, Puru is saying that even if it is a Himsa Rupa Karma, it has to be done and it has to be done together with Jnana. Iti Bruvata. Iti Bruvata, uh, Bruvata is a Shatranta Pada who is saying in this manner, who is that Bhagavan? So by Bruvata Bhagavata, so Tritya Ekochana, Iti Bruvata Bhagavata, that's what it means, Iti Bruvata Bhagavata, Yavad Jeevadi Shruti Choditanam, Pashwadi Himsa Lakshananam Chakarmanam, Prageva Na Adharmatvam, Iti Sunishchitam Uktam Bhavati. So Sunishchitam Uktam Bhavati, it is definitely the ascertained meaning. What has been said is, is the concluded meaning. What is that? Prageva, it was said earlier itself, it has been mentioned here itself in Gita and elsewhere also. It is it is very well understood by uh, people who follow Vaidika Dharma that what is that? Yavad Jeevadi Shruti Choditanam Pashwadi Himsa Lakshananam Chakarmanam Prageva Na Adharmattam. Adharmattam Kasyanasti, which, which kind of karmas do not have Adharmattam are not Adharma, even if they are Himsa. Pashwadi Himsa Lakshanaancha Karmanam. Those kind of karmas which are Yavad Jeevadi Shruti Choditanam. Yavad Jeevadi Shruti is what? The Shruti, there is one Shruti says, Yavad, as long as there is Jeevan, as, as long as a person is alive, he has to do karma. So, uh, Yavad Jeevadi Shruti, Adi, Adi Padena, others are also there. So, uh, Agnihutram Juhyad. Juhoti, Juhoti meaning is Juhya, Juhoti Latlakara in Karma Kanda is taken as, uh, as Vidhiling. So, Agnihotram Juhya. So, as long as one is alive, so long one has to do Agnihotra. Agnihotra is a Upalakshana, the Upalakshana means it is indicative of other karmas. Whichever karma is prescribed for your Varanashrama, you have to do that as long as you are alive. And there are many such shrutis which uh, are there which say that karma cannot be given up. Therefore, he is saying that iti bruvata, iti bruvata yavad jivadi shruti choditanam. Shruti choditanam is prodded by uh, or prescribed by. Prescribed by shrutis. Chodita is prescribed. Prescribed by shruti which tells you what to do, what not to do. So, prescribed. So, these kind of shrutis are prescribing something. And those karmas which are prescribed by such shrutis, which are, which can be Pashwadi Himsa Lakshana also, which are, which may cause Himsa to Pashu Ityadi, even those karmas are what, they do, they do not have the status of being Adharma. 
they are not adharma adharmatvam nasti means they they are not adharma so you can this adharvat matvam when you say tvam tva pratyay is added then it will go with safety the meaning is understood in prathama vibhakti you can understand by taking away tva pratyay that yava jivadi shruti chodita pashvadi himsa lakshana karma are not na adharma they are not adharma that is the iti that is the idea which is concluded which is well understood by everyone so he has made his case that saha samuchaya is prescribed by all shrutis and by smriti also especially in this gita i have shown you this kuru karma tasmatvam and all these quotations also i have given you says the purva pakshi bhagwan bhashyakar responds to that by saying tad asat that is incorrect asat means incorrect it is incorrect it is not in keeping with satyam that's what the idea means means it is not the idea of the shruti you have misunderstood it it is wrong why jnana karma nishthayoho vibhaga vachanad buddhi dvaya ashrayayoho because he says he says your what you are quoting is right but that is not the idea there because he says now you have to study it completely he is saying you are randomly quoting something it has to be taken in perspective entire it should not contradict anything else now jnana karma nishthayo ho vibhaga vachanat vibhaga vachanat vibhaga vachanat means the statement is made with vibhaga something is made for some someone something else is made for someone else you have to see which statement is made to whom not all statements are applicable to everyone so he says jnana karma nishthayo ho jnana karma nishthayo is dual and that is in samana adikarane with buddhi dvaya ashraya yoho so buddhi dvaya ashraya yoho jnana karma nishthayo ho vibhaga vachana how is this vibhaga how is this division made division is made for jnana karma nishtha nishthayo ho jnana karma nishtha is a bahuri nishtha is trilinga but nishtha nishtha is pullinga which is bahuri a person having nishtha in jnana and a person having nishtha in karma so jnana jnana nishtha karma nishtha yayo ho jnana nishtha cha karma nishtha cha yayo ho te jnana jnana karma nishtha they are jnana karma nishtha as individuals individuals who have jnana nishtha or karma nishtha jnana nishtha is one who has nishtha in jnana is one person another person or categories groups but here dual is there so we will take two people one person has commitment to jnana another has commitment to karma that will be explained how that also that will be explained further and in gita also it will come but jnana nishtha is jnana nishtha is a person who has nishtha to jnana one who has nishtha to jnana towards jnana is jnana nishtha and another who has nishtha to karma is a karma nishtha so we have a word is there karma nishtha karma nishtha word is there very common in uh, vernaculars also so jnana karma nishtha yo ho buddhi dvaya ashray yo ho so buddhi dvaya ashray is also buddhi dvaya ashray there are the see buddhi as in commitment commitment there are two commitments ashray of two commitments one commit one has commitment to jnana another has commitment to karma and driven by that kind of buddhi these two personalities have formed now that personality can definitely change but currently arjuna is karma nishtha he is actually karma nishtha he is not jnana nishtha so his buddhi is towards what to karma therefore and karma will see karma is karma yoga further we will see that but this is the commitment division in commitments and by division in commitments there are two different sets of people now and based on those such statements have to be analyzed so that this is the opening statement of refutation this is elaborated further uh, so this is what is called as a sangraha vakya sangraha vakya is a brief uh, opening statement a proposition he has made and he'll explain and justify that so he says ashochyan the statement uh, this uh, commentary is under which shloka so uh, or rather the next coming up shloka ashochyan is showing the next shloka which is coming ashochyan ityadina bhagavata यावत् स्वधर्ममपि चावेक्ष्य इति एतदन्तेन ग्रन्थेन यत् परमार्थ आत्मतत्व निरूपणं कृतं 
तत्सांख्यम सो फर्स्ट ही इज मेकिंग डेफिनेशन भगवान भाष्यकर इज डिफाइनिंग एंड बेस्ड ऑन डेफिनेशन ही शो दी कमिटमेंट्स सो वॉट इज दी विल सी ब्रीफली वॉट इज शोन देर ज्ञान निष्ठा इज अ सांख्या एंड कर्म निष्ठा इज अ योगी योगी एज इन कर्म योगी सी इन दॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ गीता वेन योगा इज यूज दैट योगा जनरली मीन्स कर्म योगा द डेफिनेशन ऑफ योगा इज ऑल्सो कर्म योगा देर एंड सांख्या सांख्या इज वन हू हैज कमिटमेंट टू ज्ञान दैट पर्सन इज सांख्या एंड नॉलेज इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज सांख्या Yoga is basically that karma yoga. So definitions are made here. Starting from the next shloka, ashochan anu sochastom. So you are uh, grieving towards those who need should not be grieved for. Starting from that, ityadi na bhagwata yavat by Bhagwan yavat up to what swadharma vapi chaveksha. Even considering your own dharma, considering or eksha, aveksha is. Seeing your own dharma, having seen your own dharma, swadharma mapi, having seen your own dharma also, what should you be doing, Arjuna? You should be fighting this battle. So Bhagwan has argued that way also till 2.31. So starting from 2.11 till 2.31, what is being shown? Iti eta dante na granthe na by that text. Yat paramartha atma tattva nirupanam krutam. What is the uh, nirupanam? the elaboration done krutam what elaboration has been done elaboration of what atma tattva what atma tattva yat paramartha tattva the paramartha paramartha atma tattva the paramartha atma tattva the highest atma tattva which has been analyzed here in these shlokas tat sankhyam that is sankhya sankhyam that is sankhyam this should not be confused with sankhya philosophy sankhya philosophy is not this it is based on something else it is also knowledge but it is uh, there is an overlap a little overlap but sankhya philosophy is different from this sankhyam this sankhyam is atmajnanam atmajnanam is sankhyam he says the nirupanam krutam tat sankhyam meaning what the analysis which is done the analysis and uh, rather the explanation given of atma tattva of paramartha atma tattva That that is called as sankhyam. That is called the definition. Then tadvishya buddhi, the buddhi, the buddhi as in the commitment, one's thinking, commitment of what 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 one thinks about. Tadvishya, tadvishya buddhi means uh, sankhya vishya buddhi. The buddhi with respect to the the thinking. Or analysis with respect to that atma tattva, paramartha tattva, sankhya. is called as what tadvishya buddhi hi atmanah janmaadi shadvikriya abhavad akarta atma iti iti buddhi that buddhi that understanding buddhi is understanding understanding ya jayate buddhi ya buddhi jayate means that buddhi which is born that understanding so there is understanding which is born that thinking and through that thinking the understanding which is born tad vishaya meaning what uh, sankhya vishaya and sankhya vishaya is what this paramartha atma tattva nirupana vishaya the buddhi understanding which is born we can take atma tattva itself atma tattva relating to that atma tattva whatever that understanding is born that is what sa sankhya buddhi that is sankhya buddhi this is a this is another definition and what is that atmanah see atma iti what is that uh, buddhi atma iti what is that atma first one takes atma as sharira then once one understand i am not the sharira i am not this body i am not the sense organ i am not the mind i am not the intellect then the what you arrive at so at various levels one can consider one oneself as body as mind as uh, sense organs etc so ya atma iti atma iti buddhi what is that akarta atma akarta atma that i am not a karta finally one has to understand i am not a karta i am not a bhokta one considers that i have to do this so 
Arjuna is considering that my duty is to fight. Then he is under the impression of grief. Uh, he shoka moha, and then he says, uh, I can't fight them because I'll be killing them. I'll get papa. All this thinking is what where he thinks that he is a karta. If you are a karta, then you will get punya or papa. If you are not a not a karta, means you are a karta. Not a karta means a not a karta in English. In Sanskrit, akarta, exactly opposite. When you are akarta, means when you are not a karta, not karta, I'll drop the A. When you are not karta, you are akarta. So, akarta atma, atma is I. When I am not a doer, iti ya buddhi jayate sa sankhya buddhi. And what is that akarta? How is it born? Sadvishya buddhi hi atmanaha janmadi shadvikriya bhavad. Shadvikriya yaha abhavad. Because of why do you know that you are not a karta? Janmadi shadvikriya abhava is there. Atma is bereft of. Atma is due to atma not having janma. Janmadi shadvikriya. Shadvikriya six vikaras are there. There are six vikaras for anything. Six, six changes you can. Vikara are modifications. There are six types of modification. Janma is one. Asti. Asti, Jayate. So Jayate, Asti. Both ways they are seen. Asti. That a person, that something comes into being. So pot is created. So when pot is created, the pot exists. You say the pot exists. So Asti Vikara, one Vikara. Second, Janma. The pot is born now. So whether you call it a Janma or not, it is produced. Janma need not be birth. It can be production also. So it is produced. So ghata is produced. A pot is produced. It is existing now. It was no longer existing. Therefore two vikaras are there. Then of course in uh, uh, pot you do not see. But if you take a sentient being as in we think that atma aham atma. So when I say I am atma uh, as in I am this sharira atma. Panchakosha. I have this panchakosha. And I consider myself as a person. That individual, what kind of vikaras that will undergo? So, janma. So, I just gave the example of ghata because to understand asti, what is asti? Otherwise, asti cannot be seen as a vikara. Asti is a vikara by thinking that something that was not there is now there. And therefore, there is janma also. And that after that janma, one comes into being. So, therefore, janma and asti are differentiated. And therefore, asti is said as a second vikara. Although uh, asti can be brought in earlier also. This is explained in another uh, bhashya in uh, uh, Gita itself. But janma adi shad vikriya. Six vikriya are what? Jan, uh, jan, asti, asti vikara janma. So jati, jati is janma. Janma, asti, then jayate. Jayate, asti, then uh, vardhate. Vardhate, viparinamate. Vardhate means grows. Then a child is born and he, that child grows. So the child exists, it is born, therefore it exists and then it starts growing. So that is the third vikara, the body grows. Actually the body is growing, but a person thinks uh, atma is growing, as in oneself he is growing. So third vikara. Fourth vikara, viparinimate. Then there are a lot of changes. You see uh, moustache coming up or beard growing or whatever, whatever kind of changes you see in a uh, man or a woman. So those changes are there. So along with, after a person starts growing also, let's say a person has a particular uh, height, one has grown, he or she has grown. After that some ch changes will be there in the body, so those are viparinama, so there is no growth. Further growth may, may not be there, but then there are some changes, continuously changes are there. So then there is a decline. So then there is a decline and nashyate. Finally, nasha is there, one, so marana, destruction of the body. But we consider a person has died. So these are the six vikriyas. But these six vikriyas are not for the atma. Therefore, atmanaha janmadi shad vikriya abhavad akarta. Therefore, what I am akarta? Akarta atma iti prakaranartha nirupanat ya jayate. From this sankhyam, this sankhyam which is, this analysis which is done, through that sankhyam, when this understanding is born that I am Akarta, I am a non-doer, 
थ्रू दैट निरूपण प्रकरणार्थ निरूपण थ्रू दी एनालिस ऑफ दी मीनिंग आइडिया इन दी प्रकरण इन दी चैप्टर्स दैट इज बॉर्न विच इज बॉर्न दैट इज कॉल्ड संख्या बुद्धि सर सेकेंड डेफिनेशन सा बुद्धि सा संख्या बुद्धि येषा ज्ञानी नाम उचिता भवति वंस दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज बॉर्न एंड यू कैन स्टे इन दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग विदाउट कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग देन दैट दैट राधर Uh, that matured understanding that matured understanding is uchita so jnani naam for jnani is sashti bahu vachana jnani naam uchita bhavati yesham jnani naam uchita bhavati means when that is ascertained and that is concluded and one does not waver from that that matured understanding well thought manana siddha yesham bhavati te sankhya so third definition they are sankhyas these sankhyas are different te sankhya ha Now, etasya buddhe he janman ha prak. This is the second set. Now, he is given who are sankhyas means these are basically these are jnana yogis. Sankhyas are jnana yogis, and those who have commitment to this are jnana nistha. They are jnana nistha. Karma nistha. Who are karma nistha now? That is uh, following now. Etasya buddhe he janman ha prak. Before this understanding was born, before the birth of this understanding means before the rise of this understanding atmanah dehadi vyatiriktatva kartrutva bhuktrutva adyapeksha dharma dharma viveka purvakah moksha sadhana anushthana lakshana yogah definition of yoga here is what then what precedes this has is yoga what is that now see for a person to know that he is not a karta there has to be chitta shuddhi how will that chitta shuddhi come that chitta shuddhi will come from karma and to do karma uh, that will come from punya basically punya one has to accrue punya or one has to give up that punya for chitta shuddhi so for one to do karma one has to take oneself as a karta bhukta you cannot take yourself as a as an akarta as an abhokta and then say that you will get punya you will not get therefore before that rise of understanding that i am a non doer what is there earlier it has to be a doer doer one has to consider oneself as a as karta so he says etasya buddhe janman ha prak before the birth of before the rise of this kind of knowledge that i am not a karta then what i am a, an akarta atmanah dehadi vyatirikt other than the body i am this atma that understanding has to be there you cannot consider yourself as a body a person who considers oneself as a body dies with the body if i die with the body then who is this punya for that punya cannot be for someone who dies in this janma punya has to be for someone who knows that i am going to continue after the death of this body after the fall of this body i'll get swarga and then i should avoid papa because i'll get naraka and then there is naraka bhoga is painful sorrowful i do not want to go there so how can one avoid punya papa and do punya karma if one does not consider oneself as different from the body one has to consider but that you consider yourself as different should be known as karta and bhokta so that is being said here atmanah dehadi vyatiriktatva kartrutva bhuktrutva that i atmanah there is reflexive that i have kartrutva bhuktrutva means i am i am karta as well as a bhukta therefore i should do something which is prescribed i should avoid avoid watch what i should not be doing what is prohibited so kartrutva bhuktrutva adyapeksha dehadi vyatirikt atmanah dehadi vyatirikt kartrutva bhuktrutva adyapeksha धर्मा धर्म विवेक पूर्वक मोक्ष साधना अनुलक्षण योग सो योग हेज एन एक्सपेक्टन्सी योग इज अपेक्षा योग हेज एन अपेक्षा ऑफ वॉट योग हेज अपेक्षा बहुरी योग हेज अपेक्षा ऑफ कर्तृत्व भोक्तृत्वादि वन बिफोर यू डू कर्म योग यू शुड नो दैट यू आर अ कर्ता और अ भोक्ता एंड वॉट कैंड ऑफ कर्ता भोक्ता हू इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द बॉडी माइंड सेंस कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड धर्मा धर्म विवेक पूर्वक that yoga which is lakshana characterized by anushthana practice sadhana anushthana practice of sadhana whatever is the means means for what moksha 
सो मोक्ष मोक्ष साधना अनुष्ठान लक्षण योगा योगा कर्म योगा इज दैट विच इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय प्रैक्टिस ऑफ द मींस टू मोक्ष सो कर्म योगा इज अ मींस टू मोक्ष एंड व्हाट इज द कर्मा दैट वन इज डूइंग दैट इज पूर्व का प्रिसीडेड बाय विवेक डिस्क्रिमिनेशन बिटवीन धर्म एंड अधर्म पुण्य एंड पापा सो धर्म एंड अधर्म विवेक शुड प्रिसीड बिफोर यू डू अनी धर्म and that that the, any karma and that karma can be uh, avoiding papa karma and uh, which is prescribed as punya uh, as bringing punya you indulge in that that has an expectancy of kartrutva bhuktrutva of atma which is has to be necessarily different from body mind sense complex now this has been established further he says tad vishaya buddhi yoga buddhi now that uh, buddhi that uh, Uh, understanding which that thinking which deals with this kind of yoga karma yoga is called as yoga buddhi that is another definition on the other hand sa yesham karmina muchita bhavati te yoginah so and this kind of understanding is clear to whom they are yogis karma yogis therefore two categories are formed jnana jnana nishtha sankhya sankhya is jnana nishtha and who is yogi yogi is karma nishtha so there are two category therefore vibhaga vachanat buddhi dvaya shrayo ho due to that reason some things are told for karma yogis some things are told for to jnana yogis this is the idea there tatha cha bhagavata vibhakte dve buddhi nirdishte now why do you say so he says this is shown by bhagwan himself there इन गीता श्लोका 239 तथा च भगवता बाय भगवता बाय भगवान विभक्ते द्वे बुद्धि इट्स अ ड्यूअल निर्दिष्टे शोन टू टू कमिटमेंट्स आर बुद्धि इज टू कमिटमेंट्स आर निर्दिष्टे निर्दिष्टे मीन्स टॉट टू कमिटमेंट्स आर टॉट बाय भगवान आर शोन आर शोन बाय निर्दिष्टे दे आर पॉइंटेड आउट बाय भगवान दैट देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ पीपल देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ बुद्धि देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ कमिटमेंट्स vibhakte and they are divided dve buddhi two types of commitments are shown to be divided by bhagwan how esha te vihita sankhe buddhi yoga tu imam shrunu bhagwan himself says si sankhya and buddhi yoga these words are uh, shown by uh, uh, buddhi yoga so uh, sankhe buddhi yoga tu imam shrunu when he says esha te vihita sankhe uh, he has shown these words sankhya and buddhi sankhya buddhi and yoga so yoga and sankhya so buddhi yoga buddhi and uh, sankhya buddhi esha te abhita sankhya buddhi abhita now i have already taught you sankhya buddhi as in commitment unto sankhya unto sankhya and what is sankhya sankhya has been defined as what sankhya is here Uh, is defined as sankhyam see sankhyam so he has already shown that in 239 see where this uh, 2.11 to 231 he analyzes it and then he talks about that as esha te abhita sankhye buddhi so buddhi abhita this buddhi has been shown to you which buddhi sankhye buddhi meaning jnana buddhi jnana yoga which will be shown as jnana jnana yoga which we say jnana yoga is sankhya and karma yoga is yoga so yoga to imam shrunu yoga buddhi hi to imam shrunu now you listen to the commitment unto yoga karma yoga so he is already shown that there are two types of divided commitments one is towards sankhya other is towards yoga meaning one is towards jnana other is towards karma iti तयोश्च सांख्य बुद्ध्याश्रया ज्ञान योग निष्ठा सांख्या विभक्ता वक्ष्यति पुरा वेदात्मना मया प्रोक्ता इति पुरा वेदात्मना मया प्रोक्ता इन दि फॉर्म ऑफ वेदा अरियर पुरा अरियर मया प्रोक्ता बाय मी इट हैज ऑलरेडी बीन टॉट एंड ही गिव्स दट दी शोज हाउ इट हैज टॉट सो हियर वील टेक वेदात्मना एज इन दि फॉर्म ऑफ वेदा so bhagwan himself in the form of vedas has taught in the vedas what has he taught tayoscha tayoscho among these two buddhis sankhya buddhyashrayam jnana yoga so sankhya buddhyashrayam 
ज्ञान योग निष्ठा दट निष्ठा ज्ञान योग थ्रू ज्ञान योग निष्ठा एबाइडन्स कमिटमेंट सांख्या नाम फॉर सांख्या सांख्या ऑलरेडी सोल सा ये ज्ञानी नाम उचिता होती सो दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ सांख्यम इज बॉर्न फॉर होम दे आर सांख्या एंड दो ज्ञानी और सांख्या ज्ञान योग निष्ठा सांख्या नाम विभक्ता वक्ष्य विभक्ता डिवाइडेड ही विल शो He 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 will show in where? In third chapter he will show. He will show in third chapter Vakshati. He will he will talk about. He will talk about that Sankhya uh, Nishtha. He will talk about Jnana Yoga and Nishtha. Nishtha Vakshati. He will talk about that Nishtha through Jnana Yoga for Sankhyas in the third chapter. And how is it shown in third chapter? Pura Vedatmana Maya Prokta. What is that Sankhya or the, what is that knowledge? That knowledge I have talked about in Vedas, Bhagwan says, in third chapter. Tatha cha yoga buddhya shrayam karma yoga ni nishtam vibhaktam vakshati. And similarly, tatha cha similarly, he will show the karma yoga, nishtha, karma yoga where will he show? Commitment to nishtam vibhaktam vakshati. He will show the abidance or commitment to karma yoga, uh, through karma yoga. Karma yoga ni nishtam, karma yoga ni through karma yoga, the commitment will be shown. will be shown and he vibhaktam divided it will be talked talked about vakshati is talked about he it will be shown in gita uh, he, we will show as in it will be shown by bhashyakara he will be showing that further as to what is the commitment of each and every shloka and there he will he will be dividing that into jnana yoga and karma yoga why because bhagwan himself does that karma yoga na yogi naam iti He says, "Karma yoga na yogi na. Who are these yogi? Through karma yoga, whoever follows a particular commitment, he is a karma yogi. Therefore, the, similarly, karma yoga also has been shown. Nishtha towards karma yoga or through karma yoga, nishtha in karma is shown. So, commitment to karma through karma yoga and commitment to sankhya through jnana yoga, both are shown by Bhagwan in a." Uh, in a divided manner they are shown as divided as there is no overlap between the two there there is a krama samuchaya not sah samuchaya evam sankhya buddhim yoga buddhin cha ashritya dve nishte vibhakte bhagavata eva ukte jnana karmano kartrutva kartrutvai katva ne katto buddhya shrayo yo ho yoga pad ek purusha shrayatva asambhavam pashyata so bhagwan knows this he says pashyata bhagavata bhag by bhagwan who sees this who sees who knows there are two divisions and therefore he has shown it evam in this manner sankhya buddhim yoga buddhin cha there are two types of buddhis two types of commitments sankhya commit commitment unto sankhye buddhi sankhya buddhi yoge buddhi yoga buddhi so commitment to sankhya or commitment to yoga both are ashritya taking support of those dve nishthe so uh, so see buddhi is what understanding is born nishtha is commitment i am saying buddhi and nishthe put together i am saying commitment unto sankhya but commitment to buddhi to sankhya what does that mean commitment to sankhya buddhi means commitment to sankhya commitment to understanding so abidance in understanding of sankhya and following that abide abidance in understanding of karma yoga and following that there are these two nishthas so taking support of those buddhis two commitments are divided by bhagwan are shown to be divided bhagavata eva ukte and they are taught by bhagwan who sees pashyata who sees what does he see bhagavata eva ukte means told by bhagwan which kind of bhagwan bhagwan who is seeing what is he seeing this is a karma to pashyata pashyata is pashyan pashyan is satranta padam pashyat pratipadikam pashyata is tritiya ek vachanam by bhagwan who is seeing yuga pad ek purusha ashrayatva asambhavam ashrayatva asambhavam means ashrayatva asambhavam who is seeing impossibility who is seeing impossibility of support of in one one purusha simultaneously yugapad means 
simultaneously in eka purusha in a same person simultaneously there cannot be two commitments you cannot have two commitments in your mind so that's why like riding two horses who are running in opposite directions and what are these how, uh, commitments so jnana karma no of jnana and karma karma is karma yoga jnana and karma so even if a one is not a karma yogi then it is even worse one is doing karma for phala but here karma you can say commitment to karma yoga which will be taught in gita so in the gita gita context karma is karma yoga yoga is karma yoga karma is also karma yoga jnana is jnana uh, but jnana and karma together are impossible why kartrutva kartrutva in karma you need kartrutva which has already been shown you can do yoga only when there is kartrutva and jnana tells you what you are akarta how can kartrutva and akartrutva go together they can't they are opposite therefore kartrutva akartrutva ekatva anekatva for ekatva because jnana will finally tell you that there is only one entity advaita jnana so when advaita jnana tells you there is only one entity and that that you are and you are not a karta then how can you have kartrutvam kartrutvam is even if you let's say hypothetically kartrutvam is there what will you do you will have to see another to do something therefore anek anekatva should be there anekatva buddhi should be there ekatva buddhi anekatva buddhi ashray are opposite ekatva buddhi ashray is not there aneka buddhi ashrayatva is not kartrutva is not there then how kartrutva akartrutva are opposite to each other ekatva anekatva are opposite to each other therefore kartrutva कर्तृत्व अकर्तृत्व एकत्व अनेकत्व बुद्ध्याश्रयो ज्ञानकर्मणो दट ज्ञान विच नीड्स एंड इज हैज अ सपोर्ट ऑफ अकर्तृत्व एंड एकत्व वेर एज कर्म विच इज रेस्टिंग ऑन वॉट अकर्तृत्व इट इज नॉट सॉरी इट इज रेस्टिंग ऑन कर्तृत्व एंड अनेकत्व सो कर्म नीड्स कर्तृत्व अनेकत्व एंड ज्ञान नीड्स ज्ञान मीन्स अकर्तृत्व एंड ekatva so karma and jnana are opposite to each other they cannot go together because kartrutva kartrutva are opposite to each other ekatva and ekatva are opposite to each other and therefore yugapad ek purusha shrayatva asambhavam pashyata bhagavata dve nishthe ukte therefore he has talked about two commitments where both commitments cannot go together simultaneously in one person they cannot have their basis कमिटमेंट कैन नॉट बी देयर बिकॉज दे आर ऑपोजिट टू इच अदर यथा एतद विभाग वचनम तथा एव दर्शितम शातपतीय ब्राह्मणे एंड इन शातपतीय ब्राह्मण सिमिलरली इट हैज बीन शोन जस्ट एज एतद विभाग वचनम जस्ट एज दिस डिवीजन इज शोन इन गीता सिमिलरली इट हैज इट इज शोन इन ब्राह्मण इन श्रुति आल्सो एतम एव प्रवराजिनो लोकम इच्छन्तो ब्राह्मण प्रवरजन्ती इति सर्व कर्म सन्यासं विधाय तत्शेषेण किं प्रजया करिष्यामो येषां नायमात्मायन लोक इति सो इट हैज बीन शोन हाउ इन शातपतीय ब्राह्मण इन बृहदारण्यक शातपतीय ब्राह्मण इधर हियर इट इज शोन एज बृहदारण्यक श्रुति फर्दर इट स्टार्ट्स विथ ब्राह्मण एंड इन उपनिषद ऑल्सो इट इज शोन एतम एव प्रव्राजिन लोकम इच्छंत ब्राह्मण प्रव्रजन्ती एतम डिजायरिंग दिस लोकम आत्म देर लोक इज आत्मलोक those who desire for atmaloka they give up ichchanta those who are desirous of atmaloka brahmana those brahmanas give up pravrajanti they take to sanyasa iti sarva sarva karma sanyasam vidaya having so pravrajanti is latlakara but in shruti wherever latlakara is seen there it is understood as vidhiling lakara ling lakara or lot lakara where it is considered as a vidhi because shruti talks about do's and don'ts that is what makes up this makes up shruti therefore it is taken as a vidhi vidhaya taking that prescription tat sheshena further what tat sheshena kim prajaya karishyamo as a as a uh, in as a as a uh, supporting statement rather as a, as a satellite uh, the way you have satellite karma there is a satellite statement supporting statement which can be put together in upanishad it is said kim prajaya karishyamaha yesham nah yesham nah means 
फॉर अस न षष्टी षष्टी बहुवचन येषा येषा फॉर हूम हु आर दोज वी दोज ऑफ अस फॉर दोज ऑफ अस हु आर हु आर वॉट किम प्रजा करिष्याम वॉट विल वी डू विथ प्रजा वॉट विल वी डू विथ ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स ये न फॉर दोज पीपल हु आर अस अयम आत्मा अयम लोक फॉर दोज दोज कैंड ऑफ अस फॉर हूम आत्मा अयम आत्मा लोक भवती दिस आत्मा इज द लोक देर इज नो अदर लोक विच वी डिजायर विच इज हियर एंड नाउ एंड एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स अदर लोक देर फोर दे वॉन्ट प्रजा बाय प्रजा यू गेट अदर लोक विल सी दैट इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ वॉट इट मीन्स बट किम प्रजा करीश वॉट विल वी डू विथ प्रजा वाई शुड आई ब्रिंग ब्रिंग अबाउट ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स बिकॉज थ्रू ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स देर इज पित्र लोक विच बी सेड लेटर only if i want pitruloka I'll, i'll get married and bear children but if i beget children but if i do not want loka then why should i get married and why should i uh, beget children therefore those people take to sanyasa taking to the shruti etamiva this is showing commitment to sankhya sankhya buddhi and further we'll see uh, what is shown for karma yoga in the next part ha shanti 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 om tat sat Any questions? No questions. Okay, so I'll see you in the next part.